Tom Haddard, Isaac Crow, Tico Twist. It's probably the best name I've ever seen on a commentary sheet. From Australia. And then looking at the Cook Islands, Brian Akava, David Napa, Thomas Daniel, and Rona Kean Lawrence. Just really looking forward to seeing these guys get out there. Waiting for the players to enter the field of play. Really just giving the DJ some time to just get warmed up. <laughs> Which I think is the only reason they're pausing. And I, you know what? I'm fully supportive. Yeah, I think the boys may have chosen this track to run out to. Here they are, making their way out of the field. Yeah, the boys in, our, in the World Series jersey from last year, so that's pretty special running out in that. Um, Hand-me-downs. Yeah. <laughs> pretty spe special regardless running out, maybe if you first time in the Australian jersey. So Absolutely. It's a great day to, to do it here at Review as well. Uh, it's fantastic, particularly for some of these lads. will be their first time representing Australia. If you are just joining us here in the Oceania Under-18s Championship, welcome. You're watching live on rugby.com today, you and on Oceania Rugby's channels. Fantastic place to get all your news across the islands from Oceania Rugby's website and Facebook page. An early penalty to Cook Islands. So Australia just a bit nervous there to start. Cook Islands finding a little bit of space early, but the cover tackle is made well by Angus Bell. He's played here at the Australian Schoolboys Championship last year. Slow ball coming for the Cook Islands. Moving the ball to the right. Here is Terakai with that run. Here is Terakai. And it's picked up and put back down. It's a great tackle there from the sweeper. Small fellow, but can hit. That's Keo Weeks. So, Australia yet to have the ball. Cook Islands making about 20 metres there. What can the men in gold do now? Nice flat ball. Jack Walsh gives it to Bell. Nice pass out to Sam Lewis. He scores the first try for Australia. He's got some wheels there. So a nice clean set piece from the Australian team there. Clean line out, nice simple hands out to the edge. To your speedman and he finishes it. Great start. Fantastic start. Ball just shanks it to the right. So Australia five, Cook Islands zero. Oh, short kickoff. Cook Islands just were not. Not ready to roll. Yeah, great idea. Just the execution, but it's good to see the boys uh, switched on. Just got a bit too excited by the idea. Needed a, needed a second of patience. Oh, 
Oh, an excellent line out. Oh, no, spoke too soon. Ball's not straight. So, scrum, just outside the 22 metre line. Quality start. I'm with you again for the Australian oh, team. Here we go. Just a little showed him the inside and then puts the foot down. Saw Lewis. Ten points to nil. Kick to come. So let's see what Mitchell Wood can do here. Shanked it to the right. That one didn't quite bring it round. Not an easy thing, kicking for goal after a, a long passage of play. Oh, that is well reclaimed by the Australian forwards. Look to get the ball into the middle of a massive... Step and jump. And here goes Bell. Throws the ball back on the inside. Australia looking damaging at the moment. Is the try coming? It is. That all comes from that restart reception there. From Such a crucial thing in sevens. Now we're yeah. seeing it across the World Series. Teams that can restart well or poorly really affects how the game goes, doesn't it, Simon? Yeah, massively. Um, I think a prime example of that is USA. They got the probably the leading team at the moment on the World Series at restart reception, and if you had the ball in hand, um, generally you win the game. So um, if the boys can keep getting good restarts like that. Um, it's only going to benefit them going forward. So. Australia adding the extras. Sure, they're going to come here to the three spot to Isaac again. Big tall number two. It's worked pretty well. Oh, oh man, he almost had it. Now Cook Irons with the opportunity, playing advantage for the knock on. They move the ball to the right. They've got some numbers out here if they can keep the ball moving. This is Apalaki. Apalaki. Playing advantage for the high shot. Apalaki passes the ball well off the mark, though. It's probably Cook Island's first passage of play where they can settle down and Play their, play their footy. So it'll be interesting to see how they go here. All they pull out. Move it to the right-hand side. Tarecki. Great defence there on the edge again from Australia. Little step on the inside. A good tackle inside the, the inside 10 channel. Thomas Daniel going into contact. Now just doing one-off stuff at the moment is the Cook Islands. That was Napa. No, not releasing there. And the Cook Islands. Garlands looking to find a gap here in the Australian defence. Australia could be in trouble here. So 
think that so was reduced to six men. Back to back offsides there. Or maybe a high tackle. Oh, and they're going to run away and take advantage of the overlap and score. Yeah, the Aussie boys have been a bit passive there. Just letting this Cook Island team dance around and play their game. So, um, they need to sort of set that up in the coming in the second half. That line speed. Nice high kick, but it's not going to have the accuracy. So Australia leading at half time, but the Cook Islands finishing the first half with a bit of momentum. Beautiful day at St. Ignatius College, Riverview, and your shift's about to end, Simon, because we've got Mahalia Murphy, um, Aussie Sevens extended squad member. Yeah, I got shifted. <laughs> Promotion and relegation, my friend. Seeing the Australian side getting some instructions. See so the coach here, Huey Carpenter. He's been the coach of the youth team for as long as I can remember, from Coach Lewis Holland, our current skipper, all the way through to myself, um, and then these boys coming through now. So he's he's been around for quite quite some time now, and um, he's got after some good talent. Well, he spotted you, didn't he? <laughs> and the ball's been bounced, brought back by Cook Island. So good start by them. Australia need to get their hands on the ball. They are a man down. Cook Islands looking dangerous at the moment. Oh, a lovely little inside ball, but the Australian defence is up for it. Good hit by Jordan Williams in defence. Now Australia's turned it over. A little quick show and go, and slicing through the line is Isaac Crow. Going to go all the way. Number one, Jordan Williams, just one to look out for. He's a big, tall boy, but he can run. He's a 200 meter runner, 400 meter runner in athletics, so he's got some wheels on him. Bit of working class man. Playing throughout the grounds here. Nice restart. Ball bounces just in field, but. Couldn't get there, did Sam Warner. It's 
Gonna have a scrum. So Cook Islands looking to move the ball out wide and expose Australia out in defence. There's Bell with the tackle. Cook Islands just struggling to break through the wall of yellow jerseys. Doing some good phases out here at the moment. Oh, Good good stepping. Steps on the inside by Callum Strickland. This could be turned. No, it's still good for the Cook Islands. Strong counter ruck though from Australia and they've forced the error. There's four changes being made. Zach Steer is coming onto the field alongside John Connolly. Yeah, emptying the bench out there. Good time for it. A few minutes to go. Angus Bell, been impressive for Australia today. Leaves the field as well. And a blistering run down on the short side wing. A fantastic try to Sam Warner. Maybe his hat trick. Two in the first. One just then. Yeah, he has been electric for the men in gold today. And really putting the finishing touches on what's been a fairly impressive performance from this Australian side. So Australia add more points to their lead with that try. Short kick off here and it goes the 10 with oh. a little knock on by Zach Steer. Good idea though. Probably the third time now they've done those little sh short kickoffs, catching the Cook Islands out. Cook Islands, can they finish this game with a bit of a flourish? But Australia's stolen the ball. Oh. And a looping pass wasn't passed well by Connolly. So Australia with the scrum. Big scrum there from Cook Ooh, Islands. Pressure, pressure on Zach Steer. Great steal. Goes back into sweeper. Australia now have to defend. Oh, and a good rush up defense. They've got numbers out wide, the Cook Islands, but well wrapped there by Warner. Penalty not rolling away, though.
Oh, lovely little step on the inside from Callum Strickland. Just should have pinned the ears back and had a go. Oh, and a good tackle by Tolu Kaula. Penalty there for hands in the rock. It's a bit of ill-discipline creeping into the Australian game. Yeah, they'll just piggybacking them down here. Oh, met well in the contact. So the last play is the call from the bench. I want to finish off well here. Oh, little gap in the middle. <laughs> the oh. ball's been lost. Disappointing there for Jordan Williams, but that will be full time. Australia winning this game. We're going to have a change in commentary as well. Simon, you're getting a cup of tea. We'll have Mahali Mahurfi join us here for the Australian Youth Girls next match.